Uh, hello, this is a note on transcribing a logbook record onto the chart to figure your latest DR position. We have several videos and examples of this under different conditions. Uh, one with leeway, I think, somewhere. And this one, well, somewhere means be in the video index, and I'll put a link to that. Um, this one is uh, we have a logbook series of logbook entries and the idea here let's see we have a current so the and uh, is a current constant uh, plot your estimated position at 1552 that's the last point in the logbook record there and uh, and assuming the current predicted 1.1 knots 270 is constant over the time and distance of the route okay so over this entire route it's it's the same current so in a case like that um, what we would do is just plot this as if there's no current whatsoever and then we get a final position and then we just move that position and then we just move that position as the water moved during that period of time and that period of time is uh, 15 uh, 1330 to 1552 that's like uh, two hours and uh, 22 minutes or something and so in that two hours the 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 water moved uh, to two toward 270 currents at 270 telling you the way direction of currents moving so the water's moving this way so we'll find a position somewhere here I don't know where and then we, when we're all done then we just move it somewhere over here and then we're done so that's the exercise and so that means and so what we have here is the time the time um, the time of the logbook entry, the log, this is the odometer. Now there's no speed here. Uh, apparent, you know, you could have a speed recorded uh, sometimes in the logbook, but ultimately what you care about is what, how many miles you went through the water. If we want, if we want to just plot our position, we just need log and course. Log and, this is all, these here are just all we need, log and course. And, and a starting point. A starting point, then we went that, and then, um, we went so many miles and then changed course and so forth. We don't need the times at all or we don't need speeds at all. Now, when we want to start correcting for current, then everything depends on the time. I mean, we could go a certain distance and then stop and we're, we've stopped, but the water hasn't stopped. So we stop and hang around for 10 or 15 minutes. The current's still pushing us somewhere. So the, times, the time always matters when you're dealing with, uh, with your current. If you're dealing with just leeway, then leeway doesn't matter about the time. Leeway is uh, actual motion through the water. So anyway, here's the problem. So we start and we have a fixed position at this buoy VF. Um, close aboard that. And then we want to know our DR position out here at this time. So what happens then is, okay, so how, and, and at, and at uh, 1330, we were on course 50M. And we were on, how long were we on 50M? We were on 50M all the way up to 1430. So that's an hour. And then at that time, our log changed to that. So you could almost see, looks like we were going 5.5 .5 miles per hour, something like that. And then at that time, we changed to course 110M. And then, then we stayed on 110M till this time and, and so forth. So that is uh, what you have to do in a case like that is we have to, we have to now just come in here and bring this picture in. This is now how far we, we traveled. And in the first leg is 5.5 .5 miles a second. That's a dis dif difference between this number and that number, 5.5. .5. Then we have difference between this number and that number, 4.4 .4 and so forth, 23 Okay, so that's what, we, that's what we have to plot out. So we have to s figure out where we are. And, uh, and again, I'm doing this, and uh, these are magnetic courses. Let me just go back into OpenCPN, Display, Units, uh, Show True Bearings. Okay, Show Magnetic. I'm going to show Just Magnetic. If you show them both, you can get confused. So I'm going to show just magnetic. And we have to remember, uh, if we don't force this to be 20, um, 
in fact, okay, so, so this, if you're going to use this electronic solution with OpenCPN, then we have to shut off a feature of op OpenCPN that is actually a very nice one, which tells us the exact modern up to now, up to this date and time, what their actual variation is. We don't want that. We want to force it to be 20. So, so that's what we want, 20. But we have to go in here to the plugins. Okay, and so this enable means turn it on. So it's off. So this is a world magnetic model. And so we're not using that. Perfect. Okay, so now if I just take like the M key to get a, like you, you see there's the bearing uh, 101, 101. Now that doesn't look right. Let me go here. Um, 104. No, nope, that doesn't look. You see where that right now where I've stopped here. I'm going to escape and then read this. You see that says 104. Now that looks to me in this program like that's trying to tell me a true bearing. So something hasn't clicked in like I want it. I want magnetic bearings. Okay. So let's delete that and go back and see. Go back and see what's going on here. Display uh, units. Show true bearings. Oh, you know what? A plot. What happens is I just zoomed off and looked at this thing, okay? And a little lesson on this program. You, all these programs are a real blessing, no matter if it's this one or if it's one that costs you $2,000. Uh, they're a blessing, but they all have their rules and how they work. And this one is if I say show magnetic field, then I'm going to have to apply it, right? I have to apply it. And that's why you want to do what I did. You want to keep the eyes and the mind open and just to be checking and double checking yourself. Let's do this again now. I'm in my M key. See, there I got 75 degrees M. Okay. Everybody's in his heaven. We're all okay. All right. Uh, let me carry on with this uh, problem. We have to find the starting point. We have to find the starting point at this buoy, which is, I think I found it here. Yeah, right here's the buoy. So that's where we're starting. Uh, we're starting right here. Um, uh, um, and uh, I'm going to do the first leg is 5.5 um, uh, miles in direction 50M. 5.5, okay. So I get the route tool out here, and I start at the buoy. And I'm going to go 5.5, and then, um, oh my, uh, hang on, escape. I'm going to delete this. I have to delete these, uh, delete that. I have to move this thing out of the way here. Okay, um, yes. And again, it's a new, it's a, a new a nuance of this program that we only get to see dynamic view of where we're going when it first starts. So here we go, I want, what do I want? 5.5, so there's my distance of 5.5 right there, and that's at 45, then I'm gonna come down, I wanna switch, plot it just when it hits 50, just when it turns 50 first. Okay, which is right there, bang. Okay, escape, that's the first leg. Okay, now I'm doing this in legs, you could just continue uh, on and then at 14 then I'm changing uh, to course 110 and I'm gonna go 4.4 miles so 110 uh, that's gonna be somewhere down here so I come back over here get my route tool here and say yes that means do you want to start at that point exactly or do you want to start next to it I want to start right at it and I want to go to 110 M and I want to go 4.4 miles. Oh, let's, oh wait, maybe I can, yeah, I'm using the arrow keys here to get this thing out of the way, since I've got one key on the mouse. So I've got, uh, what do I want, 4.4, 4.4, uh, 4 yeah, you're gonna, okay, 4.4, and I want 110. So I gotta come down here, there's 1.9, 4.4, and uh, oh, I want it just as it turns, bang, and the hair more. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, that's that one. And now, what's our next leg? That's so the next leg at uh, we after 4.4. That's now at 15.18. At, uh, we turn to 50 again, and we go uh, 3.1 miles. 50, and we go 3.1 miles. 
Oh, so it almost looks like you're tacking. Oh, no, jiving. Okay, jiving. Okay, so I want to go 50, 3.1 miles. Back, get the route tool, hit here. Yes, use the same point. Um, and 50 is about here. Uh, you see, um, okay, there's 50. There's 3.1. There. Okay, there's 3.1, 48. 49, 50, and uh, that's really pretty close. Bang, that's it. Stop, done. All right, now that is a plot of this route. You see I went 5.5 and 50. Then I went 4, oh, let's look at this. Let's read the output. 5.5 5 .5 in direction 50. Then I went uh, 4.39, okay, that's 4.4 4 in direction 110, magnetic. And then I went 3.1 in direction 50. So that's where I'd be if there were no current, if I were plotting with no current. That would be my 1552 position. And no, if you're doing this with a paper chart, all you would do is you'd start here. You would take your parallel rulers and line them up here in direction 050M. That means you would use the middle compass rows, the magnetic compass rows. You'd put your parallel rulers, this is 90, 30, 40, 50. You'd put your parallel rulers right along that line like that. And then you would walk them over to this point here and draw that line all the way out. Then you'd go over here to the mile scale, this one here, and get your dividers on to 5.5. And then put that on there and put a mark there. And that's where you're going to turn. And then you do the next one. So that's the way that works. All right. So that's all of that. Now we just have to correct for the current. And um, so here's the little math on that. I've got 1552 minus that's 2 hours, 22 minutes. That equals 2 hours. See, that's 1552. That's a time. Um, and then that's equal 2 hours. So 2 hours and 22 minutes is the same as 2 hours plus 22 sixtieth, 22 over 60 of an hour. So that's 2 hours, 2.237 hours. And the current is 1.1 knots. So it's uh, uh, 237 times 1.1 knot, 2.6 nautical miles. Now, and the current is setting toward 270, right? So I got to go back this way, 270. I mean, uh, uh, t um, 2.6 miles in direction 270. So I go back to my tool here, grab this guy, say yes. Now I want to go back. Oh, I got to zoom in here. Uh, now I'm going to use the arrow keys again to get out of the out of harm's way there. Okay. Now 2. Point, uh, uh, I want 27, 270. Ah, okay. Here's the subtlety. A good chance to make a mistake. Good place to make a mistake. I almost made it. Well, I would have caught it probably. Now, two s currents, the direction that a current sets toward is almost always, always given in true directions, whereas we're dealing here in magnetic, right? And this, this thing is reading out. You see it's reading out magnetic. So if I hunt around and find 270 magnetic on this, dry, on this output of this vector here, I'm going to be way wrong. 270 is due west, right? So now this chart, we've got, we, we could do it different ways. We could just say that's due west right there. I'm looking right straight at it, no problem. Or you could say 270 true. Now the rule is correcting add east. So it's, and we have variation is 20 degrees east. So we would say 250, 250 degrees magnetic plus 20 is 270. So if I want to think or plot or draw in, in a sense with this magnetic M on my picture here, that's got to read 250, just as it does right there, you see. Okay, so then I've got to come back here, 2.6, uh, 2.6, 2.6 at 250, bang. That's the answer right there, escape. So there's the answer of your problem. And now what you want here, what are they? But the answer says um, from the, okay, what is, we don't, you could ask, what's, the problem could say, what's the latitude and longitude at this point? What's the answer to that? You know, that would be perfectly fine way to put it. But this adds another level uh, we should probably say what is the latitude and longitude at that point, probably. 
Uh, let me think on changing that. But anyway, what that says is, what's the range and bearing to new Dungeness light? Now, you have to find new Dungeness light. We have lots of ways to find things on here. That's Eda's hook. The other bend out here like this is new Dungeness here. And this light here is new Dungeness light. Right here, new Dungeness light. And so the answer to the problem would be, you take this, you just go from here, and you come over to... Um, new dungeon s light over here somewhere and you read the uh, range and bearing to it and that's the answer to the problem okay i stop there